Good morning everyone here from Kagai and the Oro. We're gonna leave today. It's early in the morning. I think it's yeah it is. It is 2 30 a.m. Alright, take care guys. 2 30 a.m. And we're gonna take a bus to Surigao. So we're at the bus station. Morning sir. Five pesos. Got a five pesos entry fee to get into the bus station. Good morning. I'm going to Surigao. Ah okay. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. bus. There you go. Salamat. Is it a is it direct bus? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Salamat kayo. There it is. This bus should take about six and a half, seven hours, if I'm not mistaken. Morning. Uh, Surigao. How long does it take to Surigao? Uh, 11 hours. 11 hours? Oh my gosh. It's not a direct, not 7 hours. 11 hours. Okay. Abutuan, uh, five and a half hours. How many hours in Butuan? Five and a half. Five and a half. And to wait, wait in Butuan? Wait and uh, 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes. So five and a half hours, half hours from here to Butuan? Five and a half hours from there. Three and a half nine. Okay, about nine hours. Okay. So about nine hours drive. Um, how much is the ticket, sir? Seven. Seven seventy. Seven seventy. I pay in the bus or I pay here? Inside the bus. Inside the bus. Okay. Salamat kayo. Arrival here in one p.m. One p.m. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Morning. Okay, you heard it. <laughs> about nine hours if we arrive at 1 p.m. that means 10 hours okay let's see uh, we've got some leg room let's take this side that should be along along the coastline uh, all right long bus ride for 770 pesos I won't be filming much on that bus ride don't worry unless it's something interesting otherwise see you when we get to Shurigao nice again thank you sir okay almost no it's exactly 10 hours later not even almost exactly 10 hours later and we made it to Shurigao hello sir What's that? What's that? 130? Yeah. Is not going at 1? Is it not already gone? 130. 130? 130 pm. Okay. How much uh, tuk tuk? The uh, tricycle. Tricycle? Bakyao. Huh? Bakyao. 251 tricycle. How much? Special trip, sir. 250. Special trip. 250? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Can you take this? That's okay. Okay, so if lucky, we still get the ferry. Okay, salamat. Yeah, online it said one o'clock. If it comes at, if it goes at 1.30, that's good. Then we don't need to wait for the next ferry for 3.30. Yes, sir. Oh, oh that bus ride was endless I just didn't want to end I only napped a little bit I couldn't really sleep Salamat kayo Salamat Okay We arrived at the port Thank you sir Alright looks like we can still get the ferry we don't have to wait for the next one for another two or three hours thank you sir 300 that goes at 130 
Three o'clock. No, no, no. One thirty. No. No, no. One thirty. I've been just till one thirty. Is there no ferry at one thir one thirty? Uh, available is 3 o'clock and uh, 3.30 must be one or 30 minutes. Uh, so one, the last one was at 1 o'clock? No, no, no more. It's no, no, it was. Three. It was at 1 o'clock before? Yeah. Okay. It's only 300 pesos. So hectic, I'm so tired. <laughs> Everybody is so loud and... All right, so we have to wait for almost another one and a half hours. We've got no choice. But the ferry is only 300 pesos, which is good. Put the name down. Okay, just one. Yeah. I know. Kalau kau tidak mau balik berkar diri. Not 300? Huh? 300? 300? Yeah. Can I? Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. It seems like the timetable changes every now and then. And the price is according to what the guy shouts as well. Hi. Okay, what do we do till now? Till then. One and a half hours left. Probably just have a coffee and uh, chill. Hello. Hello, sir. Terminal fee. Just another 30 pesos. Thank you. Hello. No, that's mine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's a pretty nice terminal. We've got a lot of things here. You can order some Jollibee. There's a lot of different stalls. Nice temperature inside here. It's quite cool. Snacks and souvenirs. Chagall, Chagall, Chagall. Let's hope it lives up to its reputation. Everybody keeps telling me that Chagall is a nice place to go to. All right, I'm just gonna grab a coffee somewhere and chill. If you've got time before you, before you ferry, I recommend you to eat and drink outside. At least drink. I don't know all the prices for the food, but that is quite an expensive coffee. One, 120 pesos. But at least it's, well, it's too hot to drink. I have to let it cool down. Yeah, 120 pesos for coffee. That is quite a price. All right, waiting time is over. We waited an hour and a half, and now we're about to board our ferry. But it looks like for, uh, foreign tourists don't really take that option to um, <laughs> to take a bus and take the ferry. Well, I've seen I've seen only a few online doing it, but there seems to be no other foreign tourists in here. It's all all Filipinos. I think it's easier to just take a flight over, but I wanted to go with a budget version. It's always expensive for me. With the luggage to fly around so we actually are gonna have our first flight after four months from Chagao to Manila Whoa. can I leave my luggage here okay thank you <coughs> Just put it. okay on the ferry. Look, they have those nice little garden garden benches. At least it's a short ride. It's one and a half hours and we'll be there. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let me just find a nice little spot.
spot. Yeah, one and a half hours on the ferry. And then on Chagall Island, we still need to get a tuk tuk, tricycle, whatever, which will take another half an hour to get to our accommodation. Here we are guys, Chagao Island, one of the most beautiful islands in all of Asia. I think even in 2021, 2021 I think, it won the award for the most beautiful island here in Asia. Okay, it is almost five o'clock now. So we still have half an hour drive to our accommodation. Let's get out and get ourselves a tuk-tuk or something. Whatever we can find. I don't know if they have tuk-tuks or mozzarellas here or tricycles. Oh, we'll find something. Hello. Yes, I need transport. Okay. Just, okay. Just me, one. Okay. I want to go to Rucksack Inn. What's the what's the price? Five hundred. Five hundred. Yes. That's airport price. Yes, airport price. But it's a very cheap price. No, no. From airport to there, it's five hundred. From here, it's shorter, shorter distance. Because you have a special. Why have I special? You have only one. So I have to pay more because I'm alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a special trip. Maybe, maybe. No, it should be three hundred. Four hundred. Uh, 300 is normal price. Oh, you have to do it. 300? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Sim Sim Sam. Sim Sim Sam? Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> Okay, just open like this. Okay, thank you so much. Salamat. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. I'm Ping. Yeah, I'm Ping. You want a shout out? Yeah. Shout out in my retreat in Jergo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ping. nice. Oh, I got it, Ping. It's on YouTube. YouTube? Yes, like this. Have a look. Oh, okay. Sim Sim Sam. Uh, yeah, I follow you. Okay, Salamat Kayo. Salamat Kayo. All right, we are on our right going to our hostel. Should be about 25 minutes, half an hour. And we pay 300 pesos to get there. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye, Sim Sim Sim. <laughs> Yeah, it's always, always quite hectic once you get off a ferry or a bus or whatever. And there's like a bunch of people and everyone wants something from you right away. And today, it's very hard for me because I'm so tired. So it's not easy to keep my cool and to listen to everybody at once. But we managed to snatch ourselves a good ride. Are you, are you from Chagao? Yes. What's your name? Uh, I'll see. Alfie, nice to meet you, Alfie. I'm Sam. Welcome to Shango, sir. Salamat Kayo. Uh, so you think one week is a good time to spend here, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, guys. I mentioned earlier that we're gonna that this is gonna be our end destination here in the Philippines. I'm gonna stay for seven full days. So today not included, but the next seven days. And then on day 8, I'm going to take my flight to Manila and from Manila I head out of the Philippines. So my previous plan was to go to Davao. But as the bus time, bus travel is so long, I skipped Davao for this time. I will save it for, for the next time. 
otherwise I would have lost another one or two days because of traveling when you do all those uh, budget travels on buses and stuff you're so tired afterwards it takes so much time and energy so I think one week here in a more chill way is gonna be nice Is it at the moment more sunny here or rain? Uh, small sunny, sun and raining, only not a, only minutes after that there's seven. Okay, just short yeah. short rain bursts. Not a warm raining. Yes. Koshaga was a small island again. To drive all the way around on a motorbike, just driving around takes you like four hours. But we have plenty of time to discover so many things here. But see, let's see how it actually is. So we're driving now to the main spot on the island, which is very touristy. A lot of tourists stay there. But we're trying to discover also the places outside the tourist areas. Shaga is actually very well known for all its coconut trees as well. There's thousands upon thousands of coconut trees I will um, try to get to a viewpoint um, probably tomorrow here we are 50 meters and we had our accommodation rucksack in it's a German word for backpack but I think in English you use that word as well brand new only just opened recently quite a nice price as well I think it was 550 pesos per night hello there we are okay awesome it's heavy <laughs> here you go Kuya Okay, so I'm a Kayo. Okay. Alright, let's go and check in. Hello guys, how are you? Just checking in. I have a reservation under Semi on Agoda. Well, that's pretty neat, it's a new build. I think it has three stories. And even a swimming pool over there, plus volleyball field. How nice is that? When did you, when did you open? Um, June, 1st of June. 1st of June? Yes. So it's just one month old? Yeah. Not even. All right. What level are we on? Level two, second level. So level two in the Philippines is our first level in Germany. Hey, look at this. We've got beach volleyball, swimming pool, nice to hang out and chill. There's quite a few rooms here. How many people can stay here at the time? Let's say a lot. <laughs> I have a top bunk. Uh, no bottom bunk left. Uh, okay. Okay. Anything I need to know? How about lockers and um, towels? Oh, you already had your towel. Towel is there? Yes. And locker? Unlocker, let me check, bed number 9 Ah, so there's a key for, should be a key in for number 9 Over here There's a locker But no key Okay, I'll come down in a second Thank you Okay, I'm not too sure if I'm alone in the room I don't want to be too loud but this is it guys unfortunately a top bunk 
I requested a bottom bunk because I'm so tall I don't like to climb but very thick new mattresses curtain power outlet USB outlet and some light it's pretty nice so I think there's no hello I think there's no bathroom in here so for the bathroom you gotta go outside but this is fine for under ten dollars a night you definitely can't complain that's so good right old guys just had a quick shower freshened up a little and now head out to finally get some food it's been like 24 hours <laughs> since my last meal I'm quite hungry and I've seen on maps there's a barbecue nearby I hope it's one of those local barbecues if um, um, if I'm correct it is one but I'm not 100% sure as this is a very touristy area but let's just go and see and this is the one we found it hello sir hello. yes nice local barbecue yeah. we've got the inner sal pork barbecue chicken oh. intestine nice that is all I really need okay. ah nice and charcoal grilled yeah okay what are the prices? Uh, the chicken legs is 120. 120? Yeah. Yep. The chicken legs is 148 and then pork barbecue is 20, uh, uh, 30 pieces each. 30 for pork? Pork, yeah. And chicken intestines 20? Uh, 10 pieces, 10 chicken intestines. 10 pesos. Yeah. Okay, can I have a tag? One leg? Yeah, one leg. Five pork? Five pork. And three intestines. Three intestines, yeah. Yes, sir. What was that? That was wing, right? Wing, one pork. How many wings are on one skewer? Two? One, one wing. One ah. Yeah. ah, okay, okay. Uh, I three think so. One. I think so far, yeah, three, five, and one. Okay. I think this is it for now. You have, you have rice as well? Yeah. Okay, nice. Okay. Salamat kayo. Okay. Walang anuman. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That looks very yeah. tasty. That looks very good. Yeah. All right. We've got rice, some water. Oh, what a nice cozy place. I'm very happy that in between all those touristy places that we've got this pork barbecue, this uh, Filipino barbecue, and it's just a three minute walk from the hostel. It's just around the corner. It's perfect, perfect location. Oh yeah, but it is quite, quite hot now. Thank you so much. Salamat. Okay. Look at this everybody, a nice platter of barbecued meat, oh I love it. Oh, I haven't had that in a while actually. Mm. Oh, he knows how to do it, nice and crispy. And a lot of barbecues. You get the chicken intestine kind of wobbly. They're just not crispy, but this. Mm. Yeah, so good. Well deserved after that long travel day. Nice, 
big chunks. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show that to one my uncle. You can say hi. Hi, mom. <laughs> All right, we're done eating. Let's pay up. Okay. Thank you. Very yummy. Yummy. Uh, How much is it? Three hundred and twenty. Can you give me one fifty back? I think that's one fifty. It's okay. Salamat. Salamat kayo. Have a good night. Awesome guys. I think this is where we're gonna wrap it up for now because it's dark and I think it's time to go to bed. Thank you so much for watching and following along and see you in the next one.